Kita pengen. Matabasa. Asa kita mau tebak? Nggak temi sa banai-banai. Pero before sa banai-banai, lapit sa tagbais, matino, lindungan, sa bawi. Udi! Ay, katuri pala. After na sa kuan. Ito na kayo sa video. Basta mali mo tara sa negos.
welcome to Hello Danbos. Hello everyone. Um, you can miss uh, Mabinay. Then, napita na mo ni nga Falls. Nilodhan Falls. Woo! Nilodhan! Nilodhan! Adventure of a lifetime, climbing the high walls of the Niludhan Cliff. Here we are at the first place, Lambert Dallas, our second challenger, the guy in red jacket, Mr. Jonel Baligasa. And our third contestant, the lady in black, Tristan Banogon. And here comes the reporter, climbing himself to follow these mighty warriors across this treacherous cliff of the Niludhan Falls. Lambert is still staying strong. Junel in second. The announcer is getting tired. It's really a cliff, my gosh. Ah, I'm thinking it's got an angle of about 70 degrees. No, 60. 70 is a bit too much. But there they are, folks. The strong, the wonderful, the gorgeous warriors of the world. There they are. They're resting, though. Not so strong as I've said I are, but they're still strong. They're climbing. St I'm really tired, but I'm gonna continue this. I call this the echo. Professionalism, speaking even when you're tired. But then I'm not actually tired. Yeah, I'm actually recording a video, guys. Here comes the guy overtaken by the lady in black. Lady in black go to second place. Lambert is still in the second place. Oh no, the reporter himself overtakes Mr. Red with the injury on his fingers. Maybe because of the injury, but the announcer won't let him come back again. He's following the lady in black, followed by the still our first place, Mr. Dales. Dales! He's gonna come in. He's coming to the top. He's reaching for it, Mr. Dales. And he's got it! Mr. Jesse in the first place, followed by the lady in black! The lady in black is almost overtaken by the... Oh no! Mr. is holding my leg! Red guy! Red guy, you cheater! I'm just a reporter, you moron! No! So, with that, folks, here comes our ranking, our winner, the champion, Mr. Sandugo Bag, although borrowed, number dollars, followed by lady in red, no, lady in black, and our cheating, wounded, injured soldier, <laughs> Mr. Red Jacket Guy and of course the one who got cheated on the poor announcer <sighs> yeah but I'll stay anonymous you'll never know me that's sorry We yeah. finally found the best, best of the best the of best. Negros Oriental. The best place that we've visited in our journey today. Here in Banay Banay and this is our pseudo cars. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo! So what is a car topography? A car topography is an area usually made up of limestone nga contains numerous structures nga formed through dissolution. Ang mga form dito is potholes, mga bangag bangag nga shallow or so if lalo mga bangal sinkholes there are also nga mga serrations ra mga grikes that is a karst area so van what makes it a pseudo karst me why me i yeah. ah! <laughs> you answer it bro <laughs> what makes it a pseudo karst when we say pseudo karst pseudo means false so when you say pseudo karst it is a false karst Pseudo cars actually exhibit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pseudo cars actually exhibit structures similar to cars topographies, but the formation, the process, 
the lithology and the rocks that are found within this place are actually different with those found in the karst topography. So when you say pseudo karst, it means false karst. It's not really made up of limestone. So what do we really have here? Is it a karst topography or a pseudo karst? Well, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Lambert, Lambert. Mmm, what do we have here? It's a sedimentary rock. <laughs> what kind of sedimentary rock? <laughs> it it's an intercalated sandstone. Yes, I. Did it? Pino. Small, fine sediments slowly getting larger. Lambert, is that true? A joke. Yes, that's true, <laughs> Ban Ayan. <laughs> Muna siya among gipuak and ang makita diri kay since na weathered naman kay naman siya na exports pa siya sigig tubig ang mura na siya ni clay pero na tayo wala remnant nga mga daufenocris nga structure pare ani so, among ma assume nga kani siya is a layer of one igneous kani nga side diri is an igneous outcrop so second deposition ni Russia og kuan mudstone Mad, or mud clay oh Dili limestone among kuan but we will bring a sample then among yung sulayan gid og test. Yes. Og acid so, sa amo nga lab, nami lab, balay ni Lay, lab. I love you. So yes. second deposition na. <laughs> so amo ni siya ang mga mahipoy di himon diri. Rock climbing kay medyo bakilit ang dalan that's the fun. So may siya ug sadak kay sa lugar. Also na ay mga layers niya nga lay-lay o kanang ang nakutkot niya nga part. As you can see mas scratch sa kako nga wala siya pino so kuan uh, mo siya og mud made up of mud then kani is much harder i don't know ash or mud then dere is gahi so basig nipis na siya nga lava flow so muni siya nga la or if dili siya lava flow is something nga uh, mas gahi so muni siya nga alternating uh, layers is dere dere nga part oo uh oo -uh, na si tubig then na kay makita nga vegetation nga commonly makita sa mga igneous uh, sila nipis nga lava flow ra ni Bye-bye! Guys, na nakaroon sa Satori Cliff. Muna lang niya ang among last home to find our missing friend. So, kasi ba nakamention mo yung nami kauban nga isa, si Lay. Among last home na lang sa Satori Cliff. So we visited Baiz, wala siya dito, ni Ato Mig Mabinay Spring, wala siya dito, ni Agi Mig Nilutan yes. Falls, wala siya dito, wala siya dito, wala siya dito, nabot na lamang sa among site, which is banay-banay, wala siya dito, dito, so, mabala na ito ron kung nabot siya dito. Tara, tara. Oh, 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 o